for every rate, we have the ladder, right? The Learning and Development Roadmap, LADR, on your NKO site. Well, Command Master Chief has a ladder too. So when you come into the program, you know, you look at that Command Master Chief ladder and it talks about the different expectations of those roles uh, from a small ship to a, a larger ship, uh, 06 Command and the Flag Officer Commands and so forth. You just don't walk right into these roles of senior leadership without having the benefit of you know having uh, some other junior leadership roles to prepare you. You learn how to learn and you learn how to lead. You know why we do the PCO, PXO, PCMC course. Now those courses at the Command Leadership School in Newport, Rhode Island are really designed to you know give an opportunity for PCO, PXO, PCMCs to cut their teeth on you know, working as a triad in those roles. The early roles of being an LPO, of being an LCPO, a division officer, that it's critical that at each level there's a triad. So for department LCPO, you have your department LPO and then your department head, and that's the triad. For a division, you have your division officer, your division leading chief, and your LPO, and that's a triad. So if they're not talking with each other at each level and learning how to be a triad, it makes it that much more difficult when you become a CO, XO, and a CMC. Not only here in Europe, but back in the United States, uh, riding a motorcycle is kind of a, a workout. And uh, you have to be conditioned well, and you have to be educated and trained well. We work to uh, promote safety, uh, motorcycle enthusiasm, and providing a positive image in the community for motorcycles. Well, experienced riders need to uh, always take a look, make sure you're doing your T-clocks, making sure your bike's in good running shape before you ever go. You're checking all your, 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 your throttles, your all your controls on your bike, making sure they're operation safe, the air pressure in your tires, making sure your oil's good. Sometimes a bike will sit through the winter. Don't just get on it and go for a ride because it ain't going to be the same. Make sure you go through the check sheet and make sure your bike's ready for the season. There's a lot of oil on the roads here. As you know, things just drop out of the bottom of cars here. Then you get a little moisture on it. It's very slick. Asphalt here is made differently from the United States. And the tires that you bring from your stateside bike are, are made for those roads over there. Buy Italian tires that grip the pavement better. And don't go out there and look for that great big thing that first thought or that sport bike. Find something that you're comfortable, you can ride, you can learn with. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.